Hello and welcome people, this is Dark Forest Shadows here and today I'm just going to run through very quickly and briefly an emergency rappel climbing system that I use. I am not suggesting that you use this system. Do your research if you're looking into various cords and ropes and climbing techniques. I am not proclaiming to be an advanced instructor. I have vast knowledge. I am just showing some guidelines of what I actually incorporate into my general hiking day sack and I'm just going to run through a few points I'm not going to go too deep into the ropes and technical um, weights of each rope and cord I'm just going to show you um, a basic emergency rope kit and starting off over here just this is some of my equipment that I use I've got a 9.5 non-static rope or semi as some would call it going on to static this is what I use for caving and everything is replaced annually give or take how much I'm using it this here is a general walking hiking rope for mountain ridges where you could attach yourself to each other more than sufficient for holding weights and that is an 8 mil this is 40 meters this is a 6 mil 40 meters this is a 4 mil 40 meters you can see the size variations now in my emergency kit and day-to-day -day running of camp I use the 4 mil and this is replaced as and when I need it but this can be used as a emergency repel abseil kit I don't use 550 power cord, even though it can hold 550 pounds, so that's given you an example of how strong this cord would actually be. I use a basic 1mm accessory cord here. As an example, I have a stone, and I would chuck this, throw this over a branch, say, and then attach this end to the cord, and then hoist as such the cord up and over and do a various tie off um, this is what's in my bag all the time I'm not recommending by any means I use this for various things tying the hammocks as such again two other things I use are the slings these are proper climbing slings 1.5 meter loops and you can use these in various ways to create an emergency harness and then you've got um, other cords that I keep to create what they call a pussock knot and you can manoeuvre up and down quite comfortably with this system obviously for comfort I could use my harness which is in my equipment as you've seen on the belt video and then I have a selection here of three different carabiners you, I'm not going to go into naming brands the more you research and work out things, it's like anything in life, the more you become adapted and confident with the equipment you're using. Um, so obviously the smaller lightweight screw gate would be more than sufficient. And again, it's depending on how much you value your life. I haven't got a belay with me. Um, as an example because with an emergency repelling kit for a bug out scenario you're not going to be able to be carrying everything so it's just a suggestive little kit that I carry in my bag whether it be hiking or in a bug outside of things and I know it works for me the more you research, the more you'll find out how to adapt and use various things for yourselves. We have all tied up a piece of dodgy rope on a tree branch and made a rope swing. And over the years, I've seen no end of people fly off of them. Um, so, yeah. Sorry for babbling on about this video, but it's just a little thing that I like to cover. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.